अगर आप इंग्लिश में बातचीत करना चाहते हैं या आप आईएलस या कोई और कंपेटिटिव एग्जाम के लिए तैयारी कर रहे हैं आपने जरूर सोचा होगा कि I need to improve my vocabulary. But you see the long list of vocabulary words and you start to feel overwhelmed. Itni sari shabd kaise seekh sakte hain? My name is Sarah and I'm from Gateway. On today's video, I'm going to give you 3 tips to help you learn vocabulary quickly and easily. Click subscribe and hit the bell below. to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our english learning tips let's get started tip number 1 for learning new words is to learn new words in a context that means you should try to find your new words in a book or a movie that you're watching you want to be able to see the new word in a normal sentence Learning new words in a context also means that you may be able to guess the meaning of the new word. For example, take the sentence when it was dark, the mom stumbled over the toys on the floor. Imagine you don't know what the word stumbled means, but you start to think about it. What would happen if someone came to some toys on the floor? while walking in the dark they might trip or they might step on it and hurt their foot so you can guess that the word stumbled either means trip or step on once i look it up in the dictionary i see that stumble does mean trip or lose your balance and because i've learned this word from a sentence Now I have a picture in my mind that will help me remember the meaning of the word. Lekin agar aap test preparation kar rahe hain, ho sakta hai ki aapne ek lamba word list mila jo aapko memorize karna hai. Aap kya kar sakte hain jab aapko seekhna hai but uske sath sentences di nahi gayi. Agar hum wo words dictionary mein look up karte hain हम देखेंगे कि वो सेंटेंस के साथ लिख देते हैं इट्स नॉट एज गुड एज सीइंग योर न्यू वर्ड इन अ बुक और हियरिंग इट इन अ मूवी बट इट डज गिव यू अ हेल्पफुल सेंटेंस टू यूज फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर न्यू वर्ड दैट्स टिप नंबर 1 लर्न योर न्यू वर्ड्स इन अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट दैट मींस एट लीस्ट इन अ सेंटेंस बट इट्स बेस्ट टू फाइंड न्यू वर्ड्स इन अ बुक और व्हाइल वाचिंग अ मूवी Tip number 2. Learn the different forms of your word. Stop for a minute and tell me, what does it mean to know a word? Does it mean to just know the definition? Take for example in Hindi the word pani. I know that pani means water. Does that mean I know the word? In English, water can be a noun. I drink water. but water can also be a verb i am watering my plants but in hindi pani is only a noun main keh sakti hu main pani peeti hu lekin pani verb nahi hai main nahi keh sakti main apne paude ko pani rahi hu And if you heard me try to use pani like a verb, you would say I didn't really know the word. In the same way, if I heard you say the very beauty woman is my mother, I would think you don't really know the word beauty because you're trying to use it as an adjective when actually beauty is a noun. In English, many words can be changed to have a noun, verb, adjective and adverb form when you look up your new word in the dictionary check the part of the entry that shows the different parts of speech that your word can be changed to fit into then you'll know that you should say the beautiful woman is my mother because beautiful is the adjective form of beauty 
And you'll know that you can say, you painted that scenery beautifully, because beautifully is the adverb form of beauty. And you'll know that you can say, I need to beautify my bedroom, because beautify is the verb form of beauty. From one word, you can learn so many options. So that's tip number two. Learn all of the ways that your word can change to fit into new parts of speech. Now for tip number three. Remember, jab hum bolte hain ki maine new word sikha. Iska matlab hona chahiye ki hum uska use jante hain. Kali uska matlab nahi. New words ko practice karne ke liye humko sentences mein bolna ya likhna chahiye. Hamara new words ko leke. Most people just write a single sentence with each new word. That's okay, but it can get a little boring. And you don't have to think too hard about a word to write a simple sentence. For example, take the word diabolical. I can look it up in the dictionary and I see that diabolical is an adjective. So I can write a sentence, he is diabolical. The sentence is correct, but such a simple sentence won't help me remember the word diabolical. For a good challenge, I suggest that you take your new vocabulary words and try to put them in a simple short story. It will help you remember the words and how to use them. Here's a list of five vocabulary words from a competitive exam vocabulary list. Diabolical, masticate, disingenuous, edgy, chastise. I'm going to tell you a short story using these five words. Can you guess their meaning from the story? The diabolical villain sat next to his half-eaten lunch in shock. He masticated his dal and rice slowly as he finished reading the letter from his villain friends. Their disingenuous compliments could not hide the threat in their words. The villain felt more and more edgy as he finished the letter. He would have to go and chastise them for their insults, but he was afraid he wasn't strong enough to scare them. Can you guess the meaning of our new vocabulary words from this story? A good way to check and see if you know the meaning of a word is to try to replace that word with a synonym in the story. Here's the story again with a synonym for each of our new vocabulary words. The evil villain sat next to his half-eaten lunch in shock. He chewed his doll and rice slowly as he finished reading the letter from his fake villain friends. Their dishonest compliments could not hide the threat in their words. The villain felt more and more tense as he finished the letter. He would have to go and scold them for their insults, but he was afraid he wasn't strong enough to scare them. This is a fun way to practice new words and make sure that you know how to use them. Can you write a story with these five words? Put it in the comments below. If we like your story, we'll read it on a future video. Those are three tips for learning new vocabulary. One, learn your new words in a sentence, especially from a book or a movie. Two, learn all the ways that your new word can change. And three, practice your new words by putting them into a story. Do you have any other helpful tips for learning new words? Please tell us about it in the comments below We'd really love to hear your suggestions. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. And I will see you next time.